What is up guys, your boy Derek, 333 man. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out links in the description, son. So the reason I don't support BLM is because, the reason I don't support BLM is because you say, oh, all lives matter. You could say, all lives matter. Then their response is gonna be, oh, but black lives have to matter. For, I mean, have to, have to matter. But the, if you look at the what it means for me, someone like me, black lives have always mattered to someone like me. You see what I'm saying? So now you're like, oh, like, well, what do you mean? So it's not pertaining to someone like me. Or then they say, but you don't understand because you're not black. So they're looking for the people, basically, that it doesn't matter to that person. So now they're looking, they're looking to tell basically individual people that that's what it, that's what it is. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, like for me, like I've always told you guys, everything is basically like an individual level basis per person type of thing. Because in every race, religion, uh, social group, there's always going to be good and bad people, and people that are going to treat other people bad, depending on their race, depending on their economic. Uh, their economic status, depending on their social status, they're gonna treat them um, good or bad, depending on those things. Uh, most, a lot, actually, a lot of people. So for me, like I said, everybody's on an individual uh, basis. You see what I'm saying? But like, I'm gonna give you an example. Like the other day, and this happens a lot, man. The other day, I went to eat out at this soul food restaurant, right? And I can tell. Uh, most of the people in there was cool with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably they think I'm white. I'm not even white, bro. Uh, but anyways, they were looking at this. They were cool with me, like most of the black people, right? But there was one dude, he was like, you know, kind of mean mugging. But I naturally, like, mean mug back, you know, because I don't like, I don't like you looking at me in any kind of stupid way. You see what I'm saying? So it's, he could be thinking like, oh, look, look at this dude, you know what I'm saying? But, I don't care about none of that shit. I just don't like how you look you staring at me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like it's like individual thing, you see what I'm saying? So you say, oh this guy look at look how he's looking like no, it's good. <laughs> it's oh yeah, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like uh, I was in Las Vegas twenty eighteen, this dude walked up to me. He was like a Hispanic dude or some shit. I'm mixed by the way, I'm Hispanic, uh Cajun French and Spaniard. So anyway, this guy walked up to me was like what are you looking at? I'm like, I'm wondering the same thing, you know, because, you know, I, I'm the type of person, like, I'll lock eyes with somebody. You know, I'm like, we're like, what's up? I'm like, I was wondering the same thing, you know, what are you looking at? So he's like, he just walked away. So sometimes it's just that like, you don't know what the other person is and what they're thinking. But if you assume, I'm automatically sometimes going to be that person that's staring back at you. But it's because you're staring at me a certain way. You see what I'm saying? Or it's because of whatever. But yeah, um, basically BLM is just basically trying to tell a certain group of people, which doesn't include me or other people that, like I said, black lives have always mattered. So there's a ton of, you know, black on black crime. You know what I'm saying? Or every race, the crime, there's a lot of crime on the same race in every race. But, you know, sometimes when another race does that to, because the news, the media will report a certain thing because they get the most views, the media will get the most views out of something, the most attention out of something, they're gonna report on that. Mm -hmm. And if they only report on a certain thing, it's gonna seem like that's what's only happening. Because that's what's all up on the news, you see what I'm saying? And that's all what people see, and that's all going in their minds. But, uh, but yeah, it's crazy. Like you should. Uh, I, I think somebody was else was talking about that. But but yeah. Anyways, that's most of the moral of the story. Is like everything is individual basis. But there's some people that it doesn't even matter if you tell them, oh, this matters or that matters. They don't give two shits because they just, you know, they have to change their own heart. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you tell them that this is supposed to matter. It has to be in their own heart, you know what I'm saying? It has to come from their own place of understanding, their own place of, of uh, 
knowledge or, or love or whatever something that person has. So, like for me, you know, I've grown up with black people, Hispanic people, white people. They were, depending on the person, they were my friend. You know what I'm saying? And when you have little animals as a as a baby animals, they get along. You know what I'm saying? But when they're already grown and you introduce them to each other, they 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 they, they may not get along. They're probably not gonna get along. But when you have them as babies and they grow up together as babies, they're gonna get along with each other. All kinds of different species. This is proven fact. When they had they put like you get like a baby, you get like a baby pig, a baby cat, a baby dog, a baby rat. A baby squirrel. They have these videos on YouTube everywhere. And you let them grow up together. You see what I'm saying? You let them grow up together. They're going to be all friends and shit. So, <laughs> you put them in the same room after they're grown up and you don't, they've never met each other. They're going to, they're going to, you know, take each other. They're going to fight each other. And it's going to, some of them are going to pass away. So, you know, it just depends. Uh, different on the like I said also on the personalities and uh, how they were raised and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I mean it, just, it depends. But uh, you know I do understand. That's where that's why I can explain myself. Like I understand where it's coming from, the movement, and I have nothing against it. Like I said, I'm just not gonna be like, oh, this matters. Oh, that matters because. You gotta figure that shit out for your damn, your dumb ass self. Like, if you're not smart enough to figure out that life matters in general, then you was dumb ass to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's another thing. You know, people take life for granted. That's why, you know, I see people in the news passing away in like the, the, the parachute jumping out of planes and shit. Like, I don't feel bad for you. You know, I'll be like, rest in peace, but you decided to jump, you decided to jump out of the plane yourself. You know, you jumped off the bridge like a dumbass. There was this one dude, he jumped off of a bridge doing that stupid shit, the bungee jumping. And the alligator came up, boom, and he got, he took his whole half of his, uh, his body. And uh, I was like, damn, like it looks, it looks bad, you know, but it's hard to feel bad for somebody that puts their own life in danger, you know what I'm saying, in jeopardy. So, hope you guys on this, uh, got some new ideas or messages from this video. Uh, maybe some ideology, whatever you want to call it. Like, subscribe, share, check your links in the description.